For those of you who have never experimented with electrolysis of water, I present a totally improvised experiment. You need a direct current supply, whatever you have on hand. It can be a car battery, a 9 volt battery. I personally use a power source which I assembled on the fly with a 24 volt transformer and a diode bridge. Since plain water does not conduct electricity very well, I mixed a little sodium bicarbonate or baking soda with the water. I poured the solution into a plastic container with a pair of electrodes, in this case copper wires, in opposite corners, which I connected to the output of my power source. I turned on my homemade power supply and as a result, bubbles started coming from both the negative and positive electrodes, hydrogen gas on the negative electrode and oxygen gas on the positive electrode. To channel the gases through different paths, I place on the positive electrode an improvised hood I had made by cutting out the bottom of a plastic bottle. The hood was filled with water, so oxygen would accumulate at the top. You can see how the oxygen bubbles begin to rise inside the bottle, while the hydrogen gas is released into the atmosphere. Now I connected my meter in series with the input of the electrodes and set it to 10 amp scale. We can see current is flowing at 140 to 150 milliamps. We can also see that if any one of the electrodes stops touching the water, current flow stops immediately. This feature can be used to make the oxygen generator stop whenever the hood is filled with a gas. If the generator is left running for several hours, of course, in a well-ventilated place, we will see how the accumulated oxygen will displace water in the bottle. The above was only a preliminary explanation to recommend that you take a look at my video on making a homemade oxygen generator.